Looks like you understand. Yeah, it's difficult not to. Because it's every game ever. So all I have to do is spend time with them. Isn't there more to it? You'd be surprised by how much some just want to talk to others. Okay, it's a dating sim. I get how dating sim stuff works. Don't try and cover it up by telling me it's personal strength and that, oh, well, I wouldn't do it like normal. This is normal. Whatever. Seriously, that doesn't sound like it's enough. Ryu, right, even if it doesn't seem like much, conversations matter much more than you think. Nearly every relationship gone bad starts with poor communication. I could tell you about some of my experiences, but those are memories I do not wish to relive. You're supposed to be a player, it shouldn't fucking matter. But is it really just as easy as talking more? It's not talking, Ryu, it's listening, it's spending time together, being together, and communicating. There is a certain amount of sexism going into this, isn't there? <coughs> All you have to do to make a girl like you is listen. There are a hundred different jokes where I could come up to with regards to that. I used to have a mate, and he always used to claim, it's just like, oh, well, yeah, I, I pull so many birds I do, and it's just like, fuck off, no, you don't. But he always used to say, it's just like, look, when you're sitting down with a girl you've never saw it before, first thing you've got to say is, tell me about yourself. And then just keep the vague questions going and she'll like you more and more and sleep with you. It's just like, that's got to be bollocks. I cannot think that's true. Ugh, whatever. Okay, Alex. I'll try to talk and spend time with Claire then. Looks like you understand. We're almost at our stop. We get off the train and Alex leads me a few blocks to a nearby hospital. As soon as we walk inside, Alex is greeted by several of the nurses working there. It's been a while since you came here, Alex. You're doing better now. Yeah, I've been doing okay. Did everyone get into a fight because of poor communication? Whatever. How is she? Any improvements? Okay. I think I see where this is going. She's been the same. Uh, I see. I'm going to visit her. She's in the same room as before. You can go right in. Alex leads me silently down the hallway towards one of the hospital rooms. <laughs> Fucking dark hospital. His strides are quick and purposeful. I'm sure that he's been this way many times before. So then, why did you want to talk to me in here, here, in a hospital room far away? Because I need to show you, you, so that you can better understand. Show me what? The reason why the lings of light started lies here on this bed. A long time ago, the three of us were rivals, all vying for the heart of this one girl. She was beautiful, friendly, smart. To us, she was like a princess. The problem was, we were all obsessed with the our idealistic version of her that we never really noticed what she was going through. Her parents were so strict that she barely allowed any freedom. She began dating someone in secret and even the three of us didn't know about it. He was so rough with her that she drained all of her spirit and was hurt, but she never spoke a word of it to anyone. Eventually one of his rages went too far. Take a look at her now. Go on. Right. Call me skeptical. I don't know what that has to do with the wings of light splitting up. You all liked a girl. She didn't like you. She dated someone else. He abused her. I get that. It's sad. Don't get me wrong. It's a fucking tragedy. That's things, you know, it's the kind of thing which should never happen. I'm not sure why you all spit up over that. I'm not sure at all. That, whatever. And let, let, let's just see if they explain it. Alex steps aside so that I can look behind the curtain that covers the hospital bed in front of us. I move forward and pull the curtain aside slowly. <sighs> Lying on the sterile, a white bed is a girl who looks like a serene princess, the perfect sleeping beauty. Right. Huh? She doesn't look like the kind of girl who'd get involved with abusive guy. Oh, and neither would Claire Ryu. That's what we all thought. We just assumed that she was living a happy life and we wanted to be a part of it. By the time the truth came out, it was too late. We realised that every, even one of us had managed to win her heart. She still would be awake and smiling. The three of us joined together in a search of a way to win over a girl's heart in order to prevent something like this from happening again. We thought we could save them from the men who weren't treating them with respect. Did he, or did he not say that she is the reason why they split up? I, did I read that right? Right, hang on. I'm going back. I started, okay. No, nope, that is just me being sceptical in that case. They started because of this. 
So why did they disband? This explains nothing. After a while, we became quite good at it. I've heard the stories, you guys were legends. Legends, maybe, but in the end it didn't matter anyway. What do you mean? There were some things that even we couldn't control. In the end, we weren't able to reach the goal we wanted, so we disbanded. The weird thing about it is that once girls found out about us, they actually formed a fan club. I heard about that, I thought that was just a rumour. Hey, I can't explain it either. I still can't figure out who sent you that email. I know that none of us ever want to bring back that side of ourselves again. You don't have any leads? Not really, honestly. I don't even know who would be interested in any of this. There were... The, what? You don't know who... Be there were three of you! If it wasn't you, then these two culprits! How could you not take a guess? It's gonna... 50-50 for... <sighs> Whatever. Fine. How are you going to figure out who it is? I'm not sure yet, but I've got to get... I'll get to the bottom of this, I have to. Why are you keeping all of this a secret anyway? I just wanted a fresh start away from the Wings of Light. That's why I came here. I want to be me, not that guy who's famous for being a player. I see. Could you wait in the lobby for me, Ryu? Sure. I leave Alex in the room so he can say goodbye. After a few minutes, he joins me in the lobby and we head home. Well, that's it for the day. I hope the trip helped you. Solar music. Alex, ha Alex, however, he's fine. He's happy. I honestly never knew something like that happened to you. It really is similar to what's going on in my situation. Bert, you still have a chance of stopping it from happening. Don't let that happen again, Ryu. Claire deserves better. Take care, Ryu, and good luck. See you, Alex. Alex looks like he wants to say more, but he leaves without saying another word. After what I learned today, I am even more determined to save Claire. We don't even know if anything's happening yet. That could all be irrelevant. It... <sighs> you know what? Sure. Let's go on with about it. Let's not get angry. <laughs> um, right, no, we don't want to do that. We want to read the book. Just see if we can do this anymore. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, awesome. So I can. So now I've learnt it four times. I should really have a crack at databases again and see where it takes me. The Prince Returns! I hear the fanfare as I walk down the royal red carpet, my knights stand at attention to the left and right of me, each holding their wands and staves in a ceremonial position. All hail the prince! All hail the prince! The crowd of my loyal subjects cheer as I continue to walk down. Then my mother, the queen, raises her hands. Everyone immediately falls silent. My loyal subjects, she begins. <laughs> Should we do this in the voice of the queen? My loyal subjects! I can't do a, uh, a queen voice, and the fact that I've got a cold probably uh, negates this somewhat. In the honour of the prince's return, we shall have a banquet. There will be much food and dance, the latter of which the prince will be joining. And there will be much rejoicing. There she goes again, forcing me to dance in order to honour her word. I look around at the royal knights and my magic-wielding royal subjects. They all look back at me with excitement. I'm glad that I spent all this time improving my physical strength. No doubt I have a long night of dancing ahead of me. Come, she says, looking at me. <laughs> Bit forward, Jesus. Take your seat so the preparations for the banquet can begin. Jesus Christ, that's not like... T was it Terry Gillum? Terry Gillum? You oh, you know, you'll know what I fucking mean. I sound like his, his woman voice. There's enough shit over him. See? My sword at the side, I walk forward. To my left and my right, I see several high-level knights and the magic users transform so that they appear to have glittering dresses. The rest, who do not wield transform magic, run outside the castle to get changed. I see a few make great leaps while others fly to exit the castle in their excitement. I don't get what this is about. There seems to be a dedicated pay change rooms that some of the royal subjects run a business off of. My mother tends to hold banquets, so being prepared for them is difficult without ch those change rooms. I think my absence took away some of their business, though. The royal hosts run into the hall, each trained to set up the tables and decorations in the hall with their levitation magic. I'd much prefer to be in this world. 
We know that magic is a thing, so this isn't just some random shit I'm dreaming about, which is going to lead to nothing right. It's actually going to be something we're going to be able to experience, hopefully, at some point. Hence the beginning of the game, where I think I was being uh, hunted down and it was at the edge of a cliff or something. But this is much more interesting than anything that's just going on with the Claire and Rena. I mean, it's... It seems like a big story for what it is, or oh, whatever. Just 15 royal hosts can fill the castle's great hall with 200 tables within 5 minutes. The hosts run around with tables and pack a few utensils flying behind them. As I take my seat on my chair, my table is set up in front of me. The ones who use their transformation magic still remain. They walk towards me with, <laughs> with in their dazzling dresses. Prince! May we have the honour of being the first ones to have a dance with you? They ask in unison. In unison. They all ask at exactly the same time. Exactly the same words. Jesus Christ, what are they? A choir? Jesus Christ, dancing with them is going to be like a fucking paper chain. Hmm. It looks like there are some new girls who have mastered the transformation magic since I left. Very well, but I shall dance first with those who have recently achieved a new level of magic. Several girls squeal in excitement. While I enjoy seeing the smiling faces of my royal subjects, I can tell that I am in another long night for dancing. <clears throat> my dream changed something inside me. <laughs> yeah, you got personal drinks because you were forced to dance. That's just the most horrible thing anyone can do to a man. <clears throat> Come on, dance! Ugh. Do we want to go and talk to Sophia? No. Not now, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna make sure that database is all the way there. I should be brilliant at databases now. Yeah, well up by about 300. That is the way, aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, that I like it. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. That's, that, 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 someone famous says that. There you are, level two. And within, like, three days, we'll be glorious. And we will have it at level three. And then I won't have to worry about it and I can just piss around and do my own thing. Ah, uh, it's not going up as quick here, so... <clears throat> it's going up by about... Yeah, alright, so four days. Whatever. Well, actually, we'll have the afternoon off. Oh, no, that didn't go up as much. 260... No, okay, so it's, it, it's still, like, three days. Come on. Use computer. Work. Okay, it's, it's a lot of clicking to get through this. Okay. So we'll definitely be at level three tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, this evening! And then we'll have the whole tomorrow free. And we'll... I don't know, meet with Claire, I guess. It's... <laughs> Now that I've rejected her, there we are, level three. Well, hey. Now that I have uh, rejected Rena, it is kind of forcing Claire onto me. <laughs> oh, well. Ah, oh, lunchtime. How I love thee. I quickly make my escape from class to find a place to enjoy my lunch. <sighs> Rena, how are you? Hi, Rai. Well, I'm okay. Would you like to eat lunch with me? I could think of nothing worse. Oh, I mean, better. Of course, where do you want to eat? Let's go over here. My mind starts to drift away. First seed. And the champion is once again the star of the night sky. A roaring applause erupts from the Coliseum stands. They're all cheering for me. This isn't a new feeling, I am the champion again. Truthfully, I'm the only champion because I love using magic. It fills me with life. Glad what his healing magic is about. Magic used for fighting is the most intense, so I can put my feelings into this art and express myself. I've always enjoyed figuring out new and innovative ways to use magic. I like surprising people. Making something new is always exciting for me. I also like seeing other people make new magic as well. But as much as I love magic, the tournaments bother me. A lot of the challenges I face in the arena don't seem like to try anything new. They always seem to use the same magic spells and the same patterns. There's always the same set of weaknesses. It's like they're afraid to use new things. I don't know. I guess they like doing the same thing. Oh. Don't fix what ain't broken, Treacle. Of course, there are rules and tenets that guide standard magic attacks. But sometimes you can cling too much to your rules and things will grow stale. Maybe adults just prefer to do things that way. It makes them feel comfortable, I guess. Come now, star of the night sky. You are the victor. Step up and receive your trophy. <clears throat> so again, PS has gone up by one, personal strength down by one. Whatever. We're in the park. And Rina is a ghost, apparently. You always make such good sandwiches, Ryu. 
Have you tried making one with peanut butter and bananas? No, that sounds disgusting! Peanut butter and bananas? I'm not a fucking ch chimpanzee! Peanut butter? Oh, that sounds horrible! It's a good thing I'm not fucking dating you. It's really good. <clears throat> I've never tried that before. Sounds good. It doesn't. It sounds horrible. Rena seems to be in high spirits today. I'm glad that I can see her smile, even with all that that she's been worrying about. Glancing down at my watch, I see that we made it to the park much sooner than I expected. Can I really walk that fast? Right, it was something bothering you. What? No, not really. I just spaced out for a moment. Yeah. Sorry, I've had you such boring company that I choose to ignore you whenever conscious. You've been working hard lately. You shouldn't push yourself too hard, Ray. I'm fine. You sure, Ray? Well, I am a bit tired. <clears throat> See, you need to rest and relax a bit more. Promise you'll do that for me, okay? No! I don't like you! Why would I even... <clears throat> Whatever. All right, Rena, I promise to take it easy. Yay, Ray is going to take it easy. What are you so happy for? I'm just worried about you, Ray. You're such a good... This, this is again, it, it leads into the surreal conversations. You're a good friend too. I can relax and let my guard down when you're around me. Well, we should get going or we'll be late for class. How do we get to here so fast anyway? Wow, you really do daydream a lot. Follow me and I'll show you the way we took. My mind starts to drift away. So, that's how boring we find Rena. Just, oh okay, you're gonna show me the way. Okay, well I'm not daydream this time.